December of 2019, doctors in Wuhan, China started treating patients who had been hospitalized with pneumonia or other severe respiratory symptoms. Despite their symptoms' similarity to influenza, otherwise known as the flu, the patients were dying at an alarming rate, ten times higher than what doctors had expected. Investigations revealed that the cause of deaths was from a previously unknown virus, now known as the 2019 novel coronavirus, or COVID-19. At the beginning of March, the virus had spread to more than 150,000 people across 143 countries, and on March the 11th, 2020, the World Health Organization declared the coronavirus an official pandemic. Now, in late April, there are over 2 million confirmed cases of COVID-19, and over 200,000 deaths across 190 countries spread all across the populated continents. The coronavirus is now a worldwide threat. Understandably, many are fearful and anxious. This has led to a panicked rush to acquire as many commodities as possible before the modern society dissolves into utter anarchy. Toilet paper, hand sanitizer, cleaning wipes, meat, and other day-to-day -day items are being bought in enormous quantities, resulting in shortages despite no real lack of supply. Business activity and traffic has significantly decreased, and the economy is in a constant state of flux. The thought of catching the virus can be frightening for many people, and there is some real danger if we allow it to spread so fast that it overwhelms our healthcare system. To limit the spread of COVID-19, it is vital for everyone to understand how it spreads, the dangers it poses, what we can do to protect ourselves, our families, and our communities. This is the first of three videos in our coronavirus information campaign. The next two videos will talk about the disease's symptoms, what you can do to protect yourself and others, and dispel some common misconceptions and misunderstandings about the disease. Remember, you should stay up to date on the latest guidance from health experts. For more information, please visit the website for the Center of Disease Control or the World Health Organization. Links in the description below.